Alright, so hello, welcome to my tutorial video. And today I'm just gonna be showing you um, the advanced way of doing um, Twixer. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So before I start, um, I just wanna say that this method I'm gonna be teaching you is originally from Law AMV. I'm gonna put his video in the description below. He explained it like really well, so I'm just here to like make it simple. So yeah, so as you can see here, this is the result that you're gonna get once you learn the Twixer. As you can see, it's really smooth. There's no awkward pauses. All right, so as you can see, this is the rock clip. It's really choppy, not that smooth. So first of all, before adding Twixer, you need to remove dead frames from the clip itself. What I mean by dead frames is that, as you can see here, this frame and this frame, there's movement. But then the next frame, there isn't movement, as you can see here. There's only like minor movements on the, on the side here. So we need to remove that. To remove that simply by timer mapping it and keyframing every movement so f you need to press ctrl alt and t to enable timer map keyframe the first uh the first frame and then every movement you keyframe it so let's say move to the next frame there's movement on the character you keyframe it in the next frame there isn't movement on the character you ignore it and then move on keyframe this because there's movement and then so on and so forth and then just do this on the rest of your clip all right so once you're done you're gonna get this and then after that all you do is just select the keyframe and then move them next to each other so just take your time move them next to each other and after that you can just go here Press Alt and right bracket to cut this and as you can see here, every frame there's constant movement. Uh, this is going to make Twixer really smooth because Twixer needs movement. Alright, so after you're done that, you're going to get it like this. As you can see, even I did it on the second clip, as you can see, there's constant movement. And then once you're done that, click on your clip, Control shift c to pre-comp, and then click on this. And then uncheck this box and do it on your second clip as well all right once you've done pre-comping your um your clip all you do is just uh, go to effects and presets and type in texture pro and add it in once you've done that just follow my settings so for frame rate for input and frame rate uh you have to like this this value needs to be the same as your um as your project file so let's say mine is 23.976, I just put 23.976. If your project file is 60 FPS, all you do is point all you do all you do is put 60.000. So I don't put like this. So mine is 23.976, I'll put it as that. And then image prep, put it as contrast, edge enhance, and then keyframe the speed, go one frame forward, and then set this to around seven. You can go 30. It works too as you can see it works perfectly fine but i go seven or under ten is that as you can see here it's like really smooth so yeah before we continue make sure your pre-comp like your pre-comp length the timeline is longer than your original clip um this is because as you can see here uh twixer extends the clip so the lower the value the longer the the clip will be so go to press ctrl k and then just change your duration to like one minute or something like that. All right. So after that, once you once you keyframe your um your speed, select warping to forward and leave frame interp to blend. All right. So and then do this for your second clip. Uh, see where this meets. So right here, add in Twixter. Just copy the same settings. As, uh, as your first clip there, forward all right so once you're done with that just pre-comp it again pre-comp this again and now cut it to where uh, this your second clip meet second clip meets so right here I'm cut it and then the second clip I'm cut it right there and I'll just cut this wherever um, so let's say right there. Alright. And then go to your first clip. 
press Control alt t to enable timer map and then press o on your keyboard and drag this to the right and just drag to wherever you desire i'm just gonna put this at the very end so let's say like before the warp so like right there all right and now highlight the keyframe and press f9 to easy ease and then copy my graph so just put it like that basically this graph will make it fast slow and then fast you can also like you can um you can just mess around with the graph it's really like like personal preference so i'll just i just make mine like this and it'll just look like this Um, if you if you're if you think that your clip is too short all you can do is just move this the second frame forward and then click and hold this to the to the right and then highlight this these two keyframes hold alt and click and hold this until the very end so like right there so as you can see here it goes much more further than before and then just do the same on the second clip enable timer map press this keyframe the first um the first part press o on your keyboard or just extend this and then just drag this so uh, put it like right right there should work and then highlight these two ignore this also don't delete this just ignore it so highlight these two easy ease and just keyframe it All right, and then so that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions about like Twixture, and just leave it leave it in the comments below, I'll try to answer them, uh, or just join my Discord link in the description, and just tag me and ask me anything about editing. I'll try I'll try my best to answer them. And yeah, if you want more tutorials, just chuck them in the comments down below. I'll try to make them. Um, if you're making this for like an Instagram edit, make sure to tag me or DT me. So yeah, it'll be pretty cool. And yeah, thank you so much for watching.